morning to respected dignitaries, guests, professors, researchers, media professionals, faculty members, and my fellow mates. I, Shruti Pandey, welcome you all to the inaugural ceremony of Ritika 2021, Convention of Media Students organized by final year students of DME Media School. The three-day Convention of Media Students is being conducted from October 11 to October 13, 2021 on the theme of United India, Unique Minds. Our hashtag for the same is Youth for India. Our media partner for Vritika 2021 is Jai Hind Times. The event is powered by Spark, the student body of DME Media School, which is student with positive attitude and resonating communication. Journalism at DME is the official newsletter of DME Media School. The fortnightly publication covers all the major activities happening in and out the campus. It is a student-centric newsletter carried entirely by them under the supervision of faculty members. DME TV is the official YouTube channel of DME where you can find the playlist related to all the sessions, lecture series, film festival, conference, and Ritika. It, given, it gives me immense pleasure to announce that we are live on Facebook page of DME. Delhi Metropolitan Education is an A-grade premier educational institute affiliated to Guru Gobind Singh in the first university in New Delhi and approved by the Bar Council of India. The institute offers BBA, BBLLB, BALLB, the BCI approval, and BAJMC program. DME believes in imparting world-class education to its students while training them to develop and enhance their skills. This education and training enables them in taking up challenges of the industry and creating a space for themselves with their competence and vigor. DME Media School is one of the most promising media institutes in the country. It offers BA in journalism and mass communication. It is recognized as a school focused on the growth of its faculty and students throughout academic and co-curricular activities. Major flagship events and initiatives of our school include BG Verbe Series, Peer-to-Peer -peer FDP, International Film Festival SIFI, International Conference ICANN, Ritika Convention of Media Students, and newly added to the list is Vibrant India Series. Now, I invite Dr. Krishna Pandey, Faculty Convener of Ritika 2021, to share the information about Ritika 2021 with our audience. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, uh, Shruti. Good morning, everyone. I, Dr. Krishna Pandey, Welcome you to Vritika, a convention of media students organized by the students of DME Media School, Delhi Metropolitan Education. This is the fifth in the series of media convention called Vritika, organized since 2016. The theme of this year's Vritika is United India, Unique Minds, hashtag Youth for India. Every year at this time of the month, DME Media School is abuzz with activities related to Media Fest. There is an excitement in the year, and the students of DME Media School wholeheartedly get involved in the preparations of Ritika. The event is conceptualized and is organized by the final year students of BAJMC, that is Bachelor of Journalism and Mass Communication, as a part of their curriculum. The aim is to provide a platform to the students across the country to deliberate and discuss relevant contemporary media issues with their peers and experts. The three-day long media convention has participants from across India joining us through Zoom platform. There are more than 200 students from 26 plus universities and colleges participating in 15 odd competitions in various categories and three workshops. These competitions are judged by experts from the industry and alumni of Delhi Metropolitan Education. This is the first time that Vitika has three workshops conducted by industry experts. RJ Ankita Arya from US, Ms. Justin Bora and Dr. Rangabhashyam from Delhi University will be the resource persons for the workshops. Our media partner is Jai Hind Times. The hallmark of Ritika is Ganesh Shankar Vidyarthi Awards for value-based journalism. This award is given to journalists as a recognition of their meritorious achievements in their profession and society. This year, the Ganesh Shankar Vidyarthi Award goes to two journalists posthumously, Mr. Danish Siddiqui, a photojournalist who sacrificed his life in the line of duty while covering the conflict between Afghanistan forces and Taliban in July 2021. And Mr. Ashish Kumar, a senior TV journalist working with India ahead, succumbed to COVID-19 related complications in a Ghaziabad hospital in May 2021. 
This is all about Ritika. I once again welcome you all to Ritika, a convention of media students, and request Ms. Shruti Pandey to take the session forward. Thank you, ma'am. Ritika 2021 is a convention of media students, aims to provide a platform to engage media students in thought-provoking discussions, debates, and discourse and enhance their confidence and personality through the deliberation and develop consciousness amongst the media students for responsible and accountable professional conduct. Before we move any further with the program, with due permission of all of you, we're presenting Ganesh Vandana by Vinayak Mishra and Ishpreet Singh. Vakratunda Mahakaya Surya Koti Samaprabha Nirvignam Guru Me Deva Saiva Karya Shu Saiva Da What a beautiful and soulful performance. Now, I request Dr. Susmita Bala, head DME Media School, to give her opening remarks. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Shruti. Hello and good morning, everyone present here. Welcome to the fifth edition of Vritika 2021. Vritika started as a film festival, then turned into a media festival this year. We have converted it as a convention of media students. It is a platform where media students can gather online or offline as the case might be, can exchange thought, can create something new, some new idea, some new concept, something for generating impressive media content, something for the betterment of society. Yes. Vritika is an assembly of young, fertile minds. The unique minds who have positive attitude and who want to bring a change with their youthfulness and high spirit. I welcome the distinguished guest of the inaugural ceremony, Ms. Sheetal Rajput, a senior journalist and a known TV news presenter, and Dr. Mihaile Panay, a media academic researcher and a media practitioner from Romania. I welcome Mr. Amar Sahni, Vice Chairman, Justice Bhavar Singh, Director General, and Ravi Khan Swami, Director of Delhi Metropolitan Education, DME. I welcome student participants from different colleges and universities. मुझे लगता है कि ऑनलाइन मोड भी में हम सब इवेंट एंजॉय कर सकते हैं सो एंजॉय दिस इवेंट एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर रिमार्क्स मैम बिफोर वी मूव एनी फर्दर लेट्स हैव अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ रितिका 2021 
This fear of being loved, allegiance to the pain. Now I'm and I'm missing you. I'll never be like you. I would give anything to change this fickle minded heart that loves fake shiny things. And I'm missing you. The COVID-19 pandemic was the biggest challenge for the entire world and so for the education sector. But we at DME did not let it affect our endeavors and spirit. In November 2020, DME Media School conducted the first online mega event, Ritika 2020, and here are some glimpses of it. days uh, will be full of uh, competitive spirit, zeal and enthusiasm. So I wish all the participants good luck. I uh, wish uh, all the good for all the students who are involved in organizing this event. With the challenges of, of COVID, it will be really interesting to see the kind of work that uh, the participants, the competitors uh, come out with. So. Um, so it's it's really great to see all the all the competitions in this. I'm sure will will go really uh, go really well, and it should be a lot of fun for everybody involved. My best wishes to everybody. Introduce you to someone who has inspired us for not only this initiative but in our practice study and theory of journalism. An Indian journalist, a leader, and an independence movement activist. He was an important figure in the non-cooperation movement and freedom movement of India. He was the founder editor of the Hindi newspaper Pratap. He was a fighter against oppression and injustice, whether practiced by bureaucrats, zamindars, capitalists, or higher caste. He fought all his life against oppression, against inhumanity. He is called Ganesh Shankar Vidyarthi. Remembering him, DME presents Ganesh Shankar Vidyarthi Award for Value Based Journalism. Good evening, everyone. So I think Vratika should have been named Vratika the Adaptation. We all are, have gathered here to celebrate the concluding ceremony of the second edition of Vratika. This award to Madam Jha. Uh, thank you so much, uh, really, for those uh, you know, kind remarks. I just to present the prestigious Ganesh Shankar Vidyarthi Award to RJ Saima. I, I wholeheartedly wish to thank and um, these are my words of gratitude to the entire team of DME uh, Media. Now I request Dr. Ambri Saxena, Dean DME to DME Media School, to address the gathering. Uh, thank you, Tina. Uh, so welcome everybody to this pleasant uh, morning on 11th of October. Uh, this year we are organizing this uh, media fest, uh, which we are trying to convert to, towards convention. Convention means we are trying to build a platform 
wherein the media students can converge, they can collaborate, they can assemble at one platform. And uh, all this deliberation should lead to uh, media in one line, whatever is happening in media, be it content, presentation, the thought process or anything. So it's a festival, no doubt, because when the students are converging, they are assembling at one place. So festivity has to be there. So it's uh, in the festival mood, but then with all all seriousness, uh, wherein it has to be amply clear as to what for this uh, media is being studied by the students who are there. And then they should uh, nurture all that, they should inculcate uh, all that spirit, all that knowledge, all that understanding, which is necessary to, to, to build uh, a professional media person. Uh, there is no denial of the fact that media is, is equally important as other organs are important in a democratic setup. And uh, without uh, media, we cannot think uh, of a vibrant uh, democracy, uh, a democracy which is uh, living up to the aspirations of the people. And it is completely up to the media to wake up those people who are sitting in the governance and to, to compel them in a sense through their writing, through their presentation, through their contents, whichever platform a journalist might be working, to compel them to, to do the things which are really necessary uh, for the benefit of the people, for the sake of the people. So a lot of responsibility lies on the shoulders of these budding media professionals. And we in DME Media School try to take up the things in a manner wherein the, the, the emphasis on the learning remains there. Uh, as uh, we have set up this uh, Spark Society in DME Media School, uh, which is uh, a student for uh, resonating communication uh, uh, and with positive attitude. So uh, from that concept, we have tried to, 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 to travel to a course wherein the students are doing their thing themselves, they are taking their responsibilities themselves. And in this uh, Vritika also, we have tried to do this, that most of the things uh, are taken up by the student themselves, right from anchoring or handling the events or handling right from inaugural to the validity. Because we very strongly believe in DME that the major stakeholder are the students. So if they are in the forefront and if they are taking responsibility, so to Tomorrow, they will prove an asset to the industry and they will also prove an asset to this country because country needs these youth people, youth, these, these students who are full with energy and uh, only they have the capability and the capacity to bring a positive change in our society. So I hope that uh, this, uh, this uh, convention will be very hectic uh, on all these uh, three days. And we are lucky to have these two distinguished guests in the inaugural function. It is uh, uh, Sheetal Rajput ma'am, who is a known face in the TV industry for a very, very long time. And uh, she's not only a presenter, but as a journalist also, she has delivered so much, uh, whether it's uh, coverage of war or other beats, uh, or other important beats in the news industry. She has been covering that all. And then uh, I also welcome in this inaugural program, uh, Dr. Mara Mihaili Panait, who has joined from Romania and who has woken up for us early in the morning because uh, when we are starting at 10 a.m. in India, uh, the time in Romania is uh, 7.30 in the morning. So, but then she has uh, gladly agreed to be part of this inaugural function. And I believe with the presence of this uh, galaxy, uh, this, uh, this inaugural function is uh, uh, going to pray, uh, prove a big uh, success because it's the, 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 the basic of this uh, uh, this uh, media convention. And I also welcome uh, Mr. Aman Sahani, who is the vice chairman of Delhi Metropolitan Education. And uh, he is one such person who is really youthful and who is all for all good things to happen, which is necessary uh, for building uh, a strong educational institution. So I welcome all. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I would now like to introduce our distinguished guest, Ms. Sheetal Rajput. 
Sheetal Rajput is an Indian TV journalist, news anchor, and war correspondent. She is currently a senior TV journalist and news anchor with News24. She has previously worked as a managing editor with Jansatta TV, Ajitak, and Republic TV. Ma'am started her career as a trainee reporter with Z News in 2000, where she undertook national and international assignments. She has since reported from conflict zones in India as well as abroad, reporting on the JNK elections, covering the devastation caused by the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake and tsunami, the devastation by flash floods in Uttarakhand in June 2013, the terror shadowed elections in Pakistan in May 2013, Lok Sabha polls in 2014, floods in Kashmir, the standoff at Indo Pak border in Jammu and the Indian Prime Minister's much talked about trips to USA, Australia, and Nepal. As a journalist, she has always held her head high with the fantastic work she has done being in the industry. Now, I would like to request Ms. Sheetal Rajput to address the gathering. Um, hi, everyone. <clears throat> very, very good morning. And uh, uh, that was very humbling, the introduction made by you and uh, Amrish, sir. Um, this is my 21st year uh, in Indian television, and I must say that um, I consider myself very fortunate that I and, and, and really lucky that I chose this profession for myself. Uh, believe me, all of you, I cannot see all you vibrant faces, uh, all of you gathered young faces. I can't see you, but I can imagine uh, uh, the enthusiasm, uh, uh, the, the positivity uh, that all of you carry within yourselves and in your minds. I started as a fresher just like you. I was all starry eyed and um, I was all uh, optimistic and enthusiastic about this profession. Uh, and I'm, I'm glad and even today to this day, like uh, I, I can relate to what, what must be going on in your minds and what must be going on in your hearts right now. Because at, uh, within myself, I'm still uh, like all of you. I'm still uh, that intern who started 21 years ago. And um, I'm still learning, I'm still growing. Every day is, uh, is a new experience. Uh, it teaches me something new. Uh, it gives me a chance to do something new, learn something new, contribute in a, in a different and new uh, manner. I have been a reporter uh, most of my career and simultaneously have been a studio anchor as well. And I must tell you that I've enjoyed both the jobs I, uh, I absolutely love being in the field, in the middle of action, whether there is an earthquake or, a, or an election rally or uh, whether there, is, uh, a, a, there, there are floods or uh, there is a crisis or a, a peaceful gathering, election coverage, whatever the assignment, you know, it, it, is, it, it gives one such a high to be able to talk to people, apprise them of what's happening around the world, uh, you know, inform them uh, in an informed manner, and uh, the pro in the process, it's very important to be uh, to be very, very neutral. And believe me, that's a huge challenge these days to be neutral in your news presentation, in your news coverage. But uh, my advice to all of you out there uh, who are listening to me or watching me right now is that. Be as neutral as possible, and you will all go out in the field. Keep your head high, your feet on the ground. As a news journalist, you have to be present facts since you see them without any personal bias. You can be emotional about your work, about the, uh, makes you passionate about your work from your side. And that is my suggestion and advice to all of you gathered there. I, I really wish I could see all those uh, uh, all those charming, young, uh, enthusiastic faces. I could interact with them live. I, I really could. I am in a way doing it right now, but I can't see all of you, although you can see me. But uh, I see a lot of hope in all, all you youngsters out there. And believe me, you can do it. Uh, you are the instruments of change uh, in the world. You are the ones that we really look up to uh, so that this world of media that we belong to becomes um, as idealistic as as it started out to be. Uh, it is no longer that idealistic. I, we all know that. But uh, the hope lies in you. And uh, I really hope and wish all of you uh, very, very good luck for the future. 
and um, and 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 with the with the, the biggest piece of advice that keep your head high as a journalist, keep your feet firmly on the ground, and do not succumb to pressure. Be unbiased, totally objective, totally neutral, and committed to the cause of journalism. Thank you all. Thank you, ma'am. Today we are privileged to have amongst us Dr. Mara Mihaile Panai from Romania. She is an associate lecturer at Transylvania University of Brasov, where she teaches subjects like television production and video editing. Mara has a rich media background. Throughout her career, she was a journalist, editor, communication specialist at the Romanian government and at the Romanian embassy in Turkey. Not only this, she has also worked as a TV production assistant on the Romanian national television. Now, I would like to request Dr. Mara to address the gathering. Good morning. Thank you, all of us. Uh, thank you for having me. I would like to talk about, about the media and education. And media education is about teaching students to interpret, evaluate, think critical about the media system and the content they produce. It involves careful analysis of media ownership, the commercial intent, the news coverage, the biases, the representation, all of this is gathering under the umbrella of media education. Well, when we think about media, media is a complex system that encompasses a multitude of communication processes through various means. I mean, we have the classical written press, we have radio, we have television, we have social media, we have films, advertising, all of forms of the popular communication are with us every day. What School of Media and Media Festival, conventional media, try to do is to educate students and anyone interested to challenge, to think critical about the cumulative impact of our media system and its impact on our daily life and our daily culture. Well, it is important to understand the pattern of the media content and to think about how this can affect us and our society, how messages resonate with our inner ideas, inner values, and social norms. Well, the future of media practitioners must learn and must uh, think about to be equidistant without favoring any part of the problem that they have to talk about. The mission of the journalist is to expose the truth, to bring light to new topics, to inform and to be very well documented before publishing any news. Uh, in a world where conflicts and disputes continues, journalists have the hardest mission, well, exposing the truth. With the media education, students have to learn how to particular messages must be crafted or how to get crafted and why it is important in a certain way to write it like that or to choose to expose just some of the information. Besides the students um, must understand why for specific news the story are used in some manner and why in the other not. Why we have to address differently on social media than on television or on radio. In a culture where media is passive and invasive, students are even every day uh, feeling the need to think critical about what they see and hear and read. So in this manner, I have to emphasize that Child, children education can be, cannot be complete without media education. So today, school needs even more to face up, to, need, uh, to contribute to educating human beings uh, who are able to communicate and to arrive at a judgment of their own, to enkindle creativity and pleasure in their own creation. This is why media education is encouraging individuals in finding their focus in society and also to approach constructive critical with all experience to which they are exposed. 
Media freedom implies media responsibility and accountability. If free media are going to fulfill their vital function, then the public needs to assure that the media are seeking the truth and acting to guard the public interest. So without further going, government regulation on media seek have to ensure that media act with the parameters of a public interest. However, many argue that there are many government regulation that interfere with media freedom and violate the public rights to choose and own the media uh, sources. On the other hand, Government regulation may be necessary to control corporate media outlets that dominate the public access to information. It's all about finding a balance between control and so-called freedom. This is why it is necessary for everyone to understand the mechanism of media. Considering that a reflective encounter, it is fundamental to be aware of the power of that media has upon the society. The conclusion is that the future is in our hands. Media education should be much more integrated part of the world uh, national uh, and international schooling system. Until that, I encourage youngers to attend as many festivals and as many conference and conventions as this kind. So thank you for, uh, so much for having me. Thank you very much for guesting me, and I hope to see you next year. Namaste. Thank you so much, ma'am. Now I request Mr. Raman Sahani, Vice Chairman DME, to share his views. Thank you so much. Um, it is a pleasure to be uh, here at the inauguration of Ritika. Over the years, I've seen this festival grow from, um, from just a student contest competition to a much larger celebration of media um, and also include the recognition of uh, journalists who are most deserving. So I'm very happy with the way it's panned out and uh, I'd like to congratulate all the students participating today. I'd like to wish everybody the very best for, for Pratika 2021. Thank you. I would now like to request Dr. Manasmi Maheshwari to share the three-day session details with our audience. Over to you, ma'am. Good morning, everyone. I'm delighted to share with you the three-day schedule of the Vritika 2021. We are organizing 15 competitive events, namely mobile filmmaking, interview skills competition, media quiz, slam poetry, Arjihan competition, print ad competition, 55 fiction, group discussion, digital art, cartoon making, photography, monologue, book and film review, media debate, and news writing. The three workshop, as mentioned by my colleague, Dr. Krishna, Interviewing skills for journalists by Mr. S. Ranghashyam at 12.30 p.m. today. Workshop on radio jockeying by Ms. Sanketa Arya, who will be joining us from San Francisco tomorrow, 9.30 a.m. And news anchoring workshop by Ms. Justine Bora on 13th October at 11 a.m. In these three days, we will be hosting more than 40 guests and the valedictory ceremony will be held on October 13 at 5 p.m. The Ganesh Shankar Vidyarthi Awards will be conferred in the valedictory ceremony which will also witness cultural performance of DME students. So that's all for these three days. And we hope that everybody will join us, will be there in this huge celebrations. Thank you so much there. And uh, back to you, Shruti. Thank you, ma'am. Proceeding towards the end, now I would like to invite Dr. Tina Bora to deliver the vote of thanks. Thank you, Shruti. It is indeed a great pleasure for me to deliver the a uh, vote of thanks this morning on behalf of the team of Ritika because this event would not have been possible without the support and encouragement of the names that follow. I would like to put on record my immense gratitude to the management of DME. Without the support of Mr. Raman Sahani, Vice Chairman DME, Honorable Justice Bhavar Singh, Director General DME, and Dr. Ravikan Swami, Director DME, it would not have been, we would not have been able to come this far. I also thank them for giving us this wonderful opportunity and the resources to execute the same. I'm thankful to Dr. Ramri Saxena, Dean, DME Media School, and Dr. Sushmita Bala at DME Media School for their constant guidance and encouragement at every step. I must particularly thank our distinguished guests who have joined us today, Ms. Sheetal Rajput and Dr. Mara Mihailik 
the night for taking time out of their busy schedules to join our inaugural session and for their valuable words. I'd also like to thank the student coordinators of Ritika 2021, Shreya Jha, Muskan Bhave Jha, Yashika Agarwal for coordination and technical support and Shruti Pandey for anchoring the session. I also thank Vinay Mishra and Ishpreet Singh for the lovely rendition of the Ganesh Vandana. I'm also grateful to the entire student team of Ritika for their various inputs. A special note of thanks to my colleagues at DME Media School, Mr. Sachin Nair, Mr. Yogesh Sharma, and Mr. Sumantra Das for their technical support, Ms. Sukriti Arora and Mr. Mohammed Kamal for media coverage, Mr. Pramod Pandey, Mr. Mohit Kishor Bats, and Ms. Manmeet Kaur for their support and cooperation. Last but not the least, I would like to thank my fellow faculty conveners of the Tika 2021, Dr. Manasvi Maheshwari, Dr. Krishna Bangi, Ms. Shruti V.S. and Ms. Mudita Raj for being excellent teammates and ensuring the smooth execution of the session. Thank you everyone for joining us and stay tuned for the mobile filmmaking competition that will begin right after this.